Cool, so we're looking at semantic HTML and we're learning what some of this different stuff is. Let's see if we can power through this. I thought we were gonna just like fly through things. Gotta dive into the details, boys and girls, men and women. So nav is uh, a section with navigation links. An area section, an area. The links may link to other pages or to parts within a page. Not all links within a document must be in a nav element. Intended for major block of navigation. It is common for footers to have a list of links to various key parts of a site, but the footer element is more appropriate in such cases, and no nav is necessary for that. Footer element often has a list of links don't need to be in the nav element. A document may have several nav elements, for example, one for site navigation and one for intra-page navigation. Huh. I thought intra-page wasn't allowed, but it's good. But it's for major block of navigation links, is nav, okay? Main, the main content of the body of the document or application, content that is central uh, topic of the document, uh, should be unique to the document. Excludes content that's repeated across a set of documents, sidebars, navigation links, copyright information, site logos, and search forms. So it's unique to one page. It's the main thing on this page. Only one main can be used per document. It must not be in a descendant of article, a side, footer, header, or nav. Can't be a descendant of any of those. So if we go to MDN, And look at that little thing about documentation. Uh, permitted content flow, permitted parents, any element that accepts flow, according to the what wig, the working group. What is the what wig? You might know I'm spacing on it. That's like Rio's class. What wig is the web hypertext application technology working group? There we go. Uh, However, W3 specification doesn't permit main to be used as a descendant of article, aside, footer, header, nav. So there's two different groups, the WhatWig and the W3, the World Wide Web Consortium, and they both contribute recommendations to the HTML standard, and sometimes they conflict. So no main under an article, aside, footer, header, or nav. MDN example. 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 Other content, other content. Main, H1. This page is about apples. Paragraph, the apple's a pomaceous fruit of the apple tree. I have got an all-expenses paid trip to Europe or a brand new BMW 528i X drive or maybe a pencil, one of those three, for anybody who knows the definition of the word pomaceous. It's like other related to apples, I guess. I have never heard the word before. I've never heard the word before either. Is it apple like apple? It doesn't make sense in the sentence. Yeah. Article, uh, self contained composition, indep independently distributable or reusable. So just like an article of a newspaper, if you tore it out and posted it on a door, somebody read it, it should stand on its own, right? An article should stand on its own. A section doesn't always stand on its own, right? Like a section in an article, you might be like, well, what happened? I, didn't, I need the rest of the article, right? Yeah. So article is self-contained composition, independently distributed or reusable, and it typically has a H1 through H6. A section is a thematic grouping of content, typically including an H1 or an H6. It's the business section. It's the weekend section. It's the art section. Or it might be, here's the section about California legislator in that one article. Right? It's a thematic grouping of content. Well, it could be the classifieds or right. something. Right. Uh, Uh, 
I still think that on your document, the H1 through H6 should be specific to the should prioritize things on that document, right? So like main article have an H1 in it, okay? Like this example with the pomaceous. Main H1, it's the apple fruit of the apple tree, right? Main H1. So article can be a descendant of main. Main has to be. Article could be a descendant of main. Yeah. But main has to be its own. Page. One main per page. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know what main could go in, you look here. Permitted parents, any element that accepts flow. Uh, doesn't permit main to be a descendant of article aside, foot or header or nav. Yeah, so it can't, shouldn't be a descendant of those. Like if you're writing a blog or something, the main portion that's African your thoughts would be main. Yeah, that's a good example. Uh, we have a side and we have footer. So uh, examples, sidebars, inserts, advertisements, biography. So advertisements, right, for our sides. We saw that in the New York Times sketch out. Insert sidebars. Let's look at that New York Times example. Main article H1. Aside, 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 aside. Nav, nav, header, holding all that. H1 through H6, heading structure, content on a page by topic and importance. Headings are important for document outline and SEO. Semantic HTML. Figure, fig caption, self-contained content, frequently with a caption, fig caption. While it is frequently with a fig caption, I'm just going to do that. While it is related to the main flow, its position is independent of the main flow. It could be moved to another page or an appendix without affecting the main flow. Don't confuse that with document flow. Typically reference is a single unit. Examples, image, illustration, diagram, code snippet. And you associate a fig capture with a figure, and an address uh, supplies contact information for its nearest article or body ancestor. So if, the, if it's an arbitrary address, one that's not related to the contact information, use a paragraph element. Typically, address element can be placed inside the footer element of the current section, if any. So, footer shouldn't contain nav. Footer should just have navigation, but doesn't have to be in nav is the recommendation. And an address can be placed inside the footer element of the current section. So if you had an article, and does address have to be like a street address, or is it like contact the author, MDN address, right? This is where it's like, uh, how do I really use this? Example, you can contact the author at this. If you see bugs here, you may also want to visit us here. So here we have all the addresses. All right. It's inside address. I'm just wondering if it needs to be a physical address or if, like, hey, my email address works. Con supplies contact information. So contact information. Email will be fine, right? The way I interpret that. 
you feel like uh, this is like too fine of uh, trying to understand these, but how else do we use them if we don't understand them, right? So hands-on exercises to recreate these pages. Just kind of get used to using those. Like that one, header, nav, aside, has sections, article, header, has two, there's two sections in here, a footer and a footer. And if this was written by an author inside the footer, we could have the address, right? Nav has header. A nav has a header. Can a nav have a header? Header, MDN. Permitted parents, any element that accepts flow. Note that a header must not be a descendant of address footer or another. So all we have to do is look at flow. And so if nav is flow, nav is flow, right? So any element that accepts flow. Does nav accept flow? Nav uh, permitted content, flow content. And what is flow content? Elements belonging to the flow content category. They typically contain text or embedded content. Where does this take us? Hey, we have a little quiz. Use this tag for the top area of a document, article, or section. Better. Use this tag to enclose an area that may contain some or all of the following. Information about the author, copyright data, links to related documents. Uh, use this tag to enclose an area that may contain some or all the following info about the author, copyright data. So I'm going to see what address said. Yeah. All right, let's go MDN footer. Because there's nothing about foot, uh, copyright data in there. And uh, <coughs> copyright data, footer. Right? And footer might also include the address of the author. <coughs> there can only be one of these tags per document. The tag is for the primary content of the document. Do not use section element as a generic container. This is what div is for, especially when the sectioning is only for styling. True. Uh, this element encloses the main content in the body. A document may have several nav elements. The footer element often has a list of links that don't need to be in a nav element. Article and section typically contain a heading. These tags structure content on a page by topics and importance. What are they? Articles can contain multiple sections. When deciding between article and section, if something can stand on its own, use the article element. True or false? How many say true? How many people say false? Article stands on its own. Post it to a door. You can walk by, read it. It makes sense. This element is generic container of flow content, which does not inherently represent anything. It can be used to group elements for styling. Uh, or because they share attribute values, it should be, should be used only when no other semantic element is appropriate. For styling. Use the group elements for purpose such as styling. Sections can contain multiple articles. Think of the newspaper. We can section have multiple articles. Not all links within a document must be in a nav element. Sure. You would use this tag for a forum post, a magazine, or a newspaper article, or a blog entry, a user review, an object, or an, any other independent item of content. What is it? 
independent item of content, you think, oh, it could be on my door and somebody could read it and it'll make sense. Use this tag for the bottom area of a document, article, or section. A caption can be associated with the figure element by inserting a fig caption inside of it. Uh, so let's go MDN figure examples figure figure fig caption inside of it. Cool, that's all I need to see. This tag surrounds content that can be placed somewhere else and stand on its own. You always know, keep hitting that. The tag is intended for a block of major navigation links. This tag is for a thematic grouping of content. Thematic grouping of content. Got to look that up. Hmm. Group elements for styling section. Article. Section. Really? Where do you see that? Video index. Course document. This course outline. I wonder where I got that. All right, that makes sense. Weekend section. I like that. Section. This element encloses contact information related to its nearest article or body, ancestor. In our case, it applies to the whole document. I'm thinking address. Content confirmation for its nearest article or body. Use this tag for sidebars, insert advertisements, the biography of the author, and related links to a blog on a blog. Side. You could use this tag to enclose any of the following: image, illustration, diagram, code snippet. See previous responses. 145 responses. That's cool. Pretty cool. Are different people's responses. Interesting to see how people think. All right. That course could use some exposure. So uh, those are those elements. Semantic HTML.